We're being joined by Courtney Kerr. She's a cast member of Most Eligible Dallas on Bravo. You're Good morning. Star. Is it Good fun? morning. How are you? It's been so fun. It's been so fun. You know, I'm so excited to finally get to highlight Dallas. You know, Dallas is the seventh character of this show. So That's true. And it's kind of been left out with a lot of these major reality, family-based drama shows. Right, 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 right. And I think this show, it kind of just it lets everyone see, like, what singles do and are going out and dating and the trials and tribulations, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And there's a lot of, of ugly dating. and dating. There is a lot oh of gosh. ugly and dating, gosh. <laughs> We're also being joined by one of our favorite bloggers, Cynthia Smoot of OhSoCynthia.com. I love that you've kind of taken on all these reality shows filmed here in North Texas. Well, I'm, And you're like the source. It's really fun. Well, I didn't necessarily set out to be the source. I'm just a huge fan of reality TV. It's always kind of been my guilty pleasure. Right. So the fact that we have all these shows filming in Dallas, for me, I'm like a kid in a candy store. I mean, it's like Christmas morning. Isn't it fun? And so so I just, you know, I started bumping into Courtney and Tara and, and drew some of the people on the cast at different charity events and fashion shows. And so over the past six months of them filming, I've just gotten to know them and have been um, bringing readers inside uh, inside this crazy cast of lovelies here and letting them know what they're going to see in this upcoming season. Cynthia, what's pulled you into Most Eligible Dallas? What do you like about the show? Well, of course, we're one episode in, so what we saw last week was a really sort of brief introduction to the characters, and they're sort of setting the stage with some of the dynamics we're going to see this season. But I think for me, like Courtney said, one of the exciting things about this show is that Dallas is really the seventh character. We've already seen they're showing restaurants and bars and a lot of cityscapes. And for me, half the fun is playing I Spy and seeing, like, you know, what restaurant is, oh, I've been to that restaurant. Hey, right. I know that person sitting at that table A lot of my them. friends are like, I had to sign some kind of waiver. <laughs> I, I feel like half TV. of the city of Dallas yeah. has signed a waiver and has been subject to these waivers that you had to sign. So, Courtney, we're all getting to know you now because a lot of us haven't had a chance to meet you before. And now you're a big reality star on Bravo. Oh, <laughs> so, I think one of the biggest conversations is you and your best friend, Matt. Yes. Can a woman and a man truly be best friends without the woman-man thing getting in the way. You know, I'd like to hope that we are a testimony that that's possible. You okay. know, Matt and I have been best friends for five years. It's never been romantic. It's always been platonic. And you kind of see us evolve throughout the season, see our relationship evolve. You know, we start in a place that's very friendly and is very cordial. And then you see me introduce some gentlemen to him and you see him introduce some women to me. And the reactions aren't always what you hope they're going to be. You know, you want your best friend to be supportive, but sometimes when it's somebody of the opposite sex, you don't get the best reaction. Did you get a little bit of heat for the first episode for treating someone he was dating straight? I didn't get to see it, but I, I've heard some reports that you weren't so nice. Well, you know, my blessing and my curse is that I don't have a filter. If oh. I think it, I say it. So all my friends call it word vomit. It just comes up, you know, it just spews out. Right. And I guess, you know, some people love that about me and some viewers do. I've gotten some great responses to, oh my gosh, we love that you think what you, you know, you say what you think and you're honest and you're open and you're blunt and that's real and we love that. And then, of course, there's the people that are like, why don't you just shut up and just keep your mouth shut? And if your mom told you, if you can't say anything nice, don't say it at all. So... You're never going to please everybody. So you're kind of but... the girlfriend we all have, and we all have a Courtney in our lives, <laughs> exactly. right? The, the one sh- who we says it like... so lucky. Right? <laughs> right, Cynthia? We all want that friend that's honest. On our show, it's Julie DeHarty, our traffic reporter. <laughs> everybody has that one friend that you really count on to be real with you. Exactly. So you're the girl. I am. I'm, I'm the one that... I might say it, you might not like it, but, right. you know, I'd like to think in some situations that you'll see happen throughout the show, I have my I told you so moments. Ah. So, <laughs> now, I will say, I chatted with the Bravo people in New York, and this is what they said. Okay. What they they said? said, even though Courtney starting off as being the most hated, she will be the most loved. I have said oh. that from day one. I said, if anybody gets a spinoff out of the show, it's going to be Courtney Kerr. Oh. She, she is hilarious and so relatable. And I think people are by the end of the show, you're going to totally be in love with Courtney. Oh, very good. It is my guilty Mm. pleasure. (laughs) It is Most Eligible Dallas. It is on Bravo. It is on tonight. Yes. 9 o'clock. 9 p.m. after Millionaire Matchmaker. And can you give a little hint about what we'll see tonight? Tonight, you will see it get worse before it gets better. Oh, that is the best tease (laughs) ever. I love that. And we get to see Drew Ginsburg go and meet with a matchmaker looking for love. Oh, interesting. So if we want to read more about it, we can go to your blog, OhSoCynthia.com. Yes. And we'll watch you tonight at 9 o'clock yes. at Bravo. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for having me. Great to have you here. Thanks for coming in. Coming up next is the work.